So I have a confession to make. I am obsessed with buying makeup bags and cosmetic bags and travel bags. I have so many. I was doing a bit of a clear out in my room this weekend and I just found so many, it's ridiculous. So I thought I would do a collection video because I just don't know why I love buying makeup bags. It's something to do with all your makeup being organized in one place. I swear I don't even use them. I only use them when I travel because I don't stay at people's houses like I used to do when I was younger. I have like a drawer of makeup. So it's a bit ridiculous that I have this many, but I really, really love them. And when I see one I like, I just can't help but buy it. So I'm going to show you all the makeup bags that I have. Most of them are just kind of standard makeup bags. Some are a bit bigger for traveling. So let me start with the most basic ones. The first one I've got here next to me is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the one from when her makeup line launched but since then I think she's got a kind of leathery type one, one that's a bit more durable. On the front it's got uh, famous people's lips. I don't think she's ever said whose they are but I'm pretty sure it's like Kate Moss and Cara Delevingne in there. And on the back it says, give a woman the right makeup, she can conquer the world with her little rose gold star. It's just a canvas makeup bag, so it's very floppy, which is a bit annoying because when it's open it can kind of fall all over the place. But what I like about this one is that it opens really wide because the zip goes down quite far and doesn't stop there. It really opens up wide so you can really kind of see what's inside and you're not restricted but it is very floppy. Okay next one is from Whistles and I remember buying this and I just saw it and completely fell in love. On the back it's just black faux leather and it has a gold zip and then on the front it's this really amazing bright coral shade and the front is like a textured kind of cotton as well. It just says Whistles up here and I just really like the shape of this. Again, it's quite spacious, but it is a bit more restricted because um, the zip. But it has a base, so you can sit it. I like makeup bags that can sit by themselves, and it's a it's a good size for like an everyday makeup bag as well. I just I just love the color. I think I bought this for Rich's sister's birthday as well. It's a lovely makeup bag. The next one is from Alphabet Bags. They do loads of different things. I think they do tote bags, key rings, maybe all different kinds of stuff with your um, initials on it. So this one has L on the front and it's a plastic kind of washable material so it will be wipeable and it's a similar sort of shape, it has a base so it can stand up and it's rounded at the top um, and it just has a zip. There's also a little zip inside which would be good for keeping like little cotton buds. I don't really use this one that much, it does feel a little bit cheaper but I like that it's got an L on the front. And I think these make really good gifts as well. I think people just love getting things with their initials on it. I think this one's also from Alphabet Bags, this was a gift and it's a canvas flat bag so it hasn't got a base or anything it just looks like a kind of envelope style clutch bag it's quite large though and it says you look lovely today which is really nice I like when they have little kind of fonts and sayings on them this one also has a zip which is a bit more tough to open and it opens like this so yeah it says this is made from 100% cotton so it's quite floppy but also because the zip doesn't open all the way down the side like the Charlotte Tilbury one you can kind of stuff it and things won't fall out. That's just like a really basic one. You can use that for all different kinds of things really. You could probably use that as a bag if you wanted to, but I like the bit on the front. I also have this from Whistles, which originally I bought it as a clutch bag, but now that I have the slightly larger clutch bag, this to me looks more like a makeup bag size. So it's just a kind of, I think it's faux leather, yeah, black on the front and it says Whistles in gold. And then on the back it's mint blue. They do these every season and they always bring out different colours and I obviously had to buy the mint blue one because it's my favourite colour and it's got a really nice gold zip so I did use this as a clutch bag but it is quite small as you can see so it can look a little bit weird but it can also be quite nice because you can just hold it like this. It just feels really nice quality and they do these on ASOS so if you ever get an ASOS discount code you can by Whistles on ASOS. Okay, so now onto the more interesting makeup bags. This one was a gift as well, and it's from Tom Ford, and it's in that really lovely, like, textured leather. I love this kind of leather because it won't scratch or anything like that, and I use this in my handbag to keep all my lip balms and lipsticks for the day, and I just have so many beauty bits hanging around in my handbag. So this is like a two-part. It's very small, as you can see, and it's got a bit of a base as well. And if you look at the top, there's two zip sections, and then there's a middle section as well, and it also pops together on the side with little kind of poppers. So it has the TF for Tom Ford in the front, and then there's quite a lot of space in the middle, but I found that you can't really stuff that full because if you want to put stuff in the zip sections, it won't really close. So you can put some kind of more flatter things on the side, and then things like hand sanitizers are a bit bigger in the middle. And it's a really nice little size. It's probably not quite big enough for your everyday makeup bag, but 
if you don't wear much makeup or like I said just like a bag within a handbag I think that's a really cute little size and I use this one a lot last year or maybe the year before Anna and I went to Bista village which is like an outlet village um, I think it's near Oxford actually and they have a Lulu Guinness store and she had some makeup bags and I love her makeup bags first of all I got the travel cosmetics bag so this is like a what's the word I'm thinking of I don't know what the word is for these, but they're like slightly bigger and there's nothing special about this, is there's nothing kind of inside to organise it, but it's a wipeable material which is really good so it won't get ruined and it's got the most adorable print on it, it's pink with red and white lips and I absolutely love this print so much that I got this one and I also bought the makeup bag version. Now this is really interesting for a makeup bag, it looks like this, again the same sort of wipeable material with the lip print and then it has this little popper that pops open and then inside is two sections that have clear material so you can see inside. So you can open up the zips and you can put some stuff in there. And then you can also put some stuff in the other side. And I like this because you can just open it up like this, although it doesn't open properly, which is a little bit annoying. And you can see I've made it really grubby. That's the only problem with clear material. It does get a bit grubby and it's quite hard to clean. But you can kind of see everything you have inside. So I'll put all my base makeup on one side and all my eye makeup on the other and you can really see where everything is. And I've used this one a lot for traveling. I took this to New York with me and it's really handy. And then when everything's in it, it kind of sits really nicely as well. You can see in there but it holds together at the top. Okay this one's from Trish McAvoy and again it was a gift so it has my initials on it which is so so nice. You can get your initials put onto her makeup bags or whatever you want to put be put on it. This one was part of the Cote d'Azur, I don't know how to pronounce that range. So she has just plain black ones but this one comes in this amazing kind of like cobalt blue and it's a quilted kind of leather feeling but it's, it's not thick, it does feel like it probably could get scratched, although mine isn't scratched. So this is the small one, she does a big one as well I think, and it opens with a zip all the way around, and inside mine is pink, which is such a nice kind of contrasting colour actually, I'm not really a pink person, but I think these look so nice together. So these are her makeup planners, so they come with a little insert here that you can put the makeup in, it's magnetic. I'm not really into that kind of thing. I mean you can like mix other makeup and I did for a while put my MAC eyeshadows in there and I decanted a Revlon bronzer and put it in there but it got a bit faffy and I prefer to just use this as a makeup bag so I kind of wish it wasn't like a Filofax and I wish it didn't have this bit in the middle. This side has a uh, plastic on the back so you could put brushes and it won't make it dirty and it has two pockets here. These, the front one is divided into three and the back one is just open. And then on this side it has this which is removable. So this is just a little mesh pocket. You can put concealers or whatever you want in there. And there's a bit of space there as well. So you can really pack this full. It is still quite small, but I've managed to fit a whole face of makeup in there and take it traveling before. I did a little video on my Instagram like a year ago of everything that I packed in here and you can fit a lot in but it is quite short so you couldn't put like full size brushes in there but these are very cute as little makeup planners this next one is from Laura Mercier two things I don't like about this it's brown and it's hard I don't really like hard makeup bags just like I don't really like hard suitcases I just like to be able to squish things in and I feel like it's quite restricting when it's hard and brown just not my favourite colour but I'll show you the inside of this this is kind of like a makeup planner as well so it looks like this inside and this moves in the middle. So on one side you have a mesh makeup bag and it's actually magnetic which is really clever and it just looks like this so you can put stuff in there and it just kind of goes back in with a magnet and then this middle part you can put brushes or eyeliners or eyeshadow crayons and then there's another magnet bag on this side as well. There's a lot of space in there and you can kind of do whatever you want with it, it's not restricting. I think the inside of this one is really good, it's just very bulky to pack into your suitcase. But then the hard case does also protect your makeup as well and it will stop it from smashing. So it just depends what you want from your makeup bag. I'm completely obsessed with the Anya Highmarsh makeup bags and she does everything. She does sun cream bags, baby bags, cosmetics bags, like there's literally a bag for everything. But they're very expensive and I don't think I'd really invest in one. I just, I don't know why, like I've had Selfridges vouchers before and I could have put it towards that but it just feels too expensive for what it is but I got this with an Omarovitska gift with purchase and it's very similar I mean it's obviously way cheaper different material but the idea is very similar she has one which says take off and landing and it's like a two-way bag that you can take on a plane with you and it's a bit like this so this is I really like the color actually it's blue and clear and there's two sides to it so there's a top layer which is the bigger of the two 
and you can put whatever you want in there. And then there's also, you can flip it over and there's another bottom section, which is, which is a bit smaller. So on the Annie Heimosh ones, it says take off and landing, which is really cute, but you can't actually use a bag like this for airport security. So you'll have to like decant your products and move them between like a clear plastic bag and this. But the idea is really good and I've used this before for traveling, just for my makeup or for sun creams or anything like that. I really like that you can see it, what's inside. I just love the whole like clear thing. Again, it's really messy, but it just works and makes it so much easier. So this was like the best, this is what the products actually came in. I think it was a cult beauty order. So I don't know if they're still doing this, maybe they are, but I will link it below if they are because the makeup bag itself was completely worth it and the products are great too. This is what I picked up from America when I was there. Actually, no, my friend and Keisha, I asked her to send this to me because you can't get Sonia Kashuk here and she was living in New York at the time. Sonia Kashuk does amazing makeup bags um, as well as makeup and this is one of her like travel cosmetic bags. It's got a really nice print on it that's like blue, red and white. It's quite fussy but I think it kind of works. So this has a little top handle and then it's got three sections. The top layer is for brushes. Um, look how grubby that is, it's disgusting. It's got brushes and then it's got a zip here to put stuff in. The second layer, I would say, is for makeup. So it's kind of, it's not that deep. It's got about that much depth to it um, and it's just empty. And then the bottom section, you can put skincare or your toothbrush, which clearly I have done and I've made such a mess in there, but it's slightly more deep than the layer above. And I just think that's really good. It is a little bit floppy, like it kind of, because there's no back to it, it does kind of fall around, which is a little bit annoying, but this is the best one that I've found for traveling and this is the one I use when I do go away. And I can kind of fit everything in there, skincare, makeup, brushes. Sometimes I have to take a separate thing if I'm taking sun creams and body products, but most of my stuff can fit in this, which is great. Okay, finally, um, my biggest one, and the one I have very mixed feelings about. This is from Percy and Reed. Um, Percy and Reed's a hairdresser, so this is very much aimed at hair, but you can also use it for any beauty products really. So it's got a handle like this. It looks a bit like a suitcase, a briefcase, sorry. And it's got a zip that goes all the way around. And when you open it, it looks like this. So it has a zip on the inside. It has a clear pouch, um, which is attached. And then it has two beauty bags here, which can also pop out if you don't want them. There are a lot of sections and it's a lot of storage space, but I do find that this can get quite bulky. If you were actually to fill both of these bags and everything inside and then close it, it's like a huge bag to pack into your suitcase. So I don't use this that often. But when I got it, I was happy with it, but it's a bit kind of floppy and... I don't, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I kind of keep it in case. And I suppose it's good to store hair things at home, which is actually what it's meant for. So those are all my makeup bags. I told you I have a lot. It is a serious obsession of mine. So if you have any recommendations for great makeup bags, let me know. And maybe you found a recommendation through watching this. Oh, I forgot to say, if you like this makeup, let me know because I'm thinking about doing my next monthly makeup tutorial with this look, which is like a blue eyeliner, if you can see. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday for my next weekly vlog. Bye.